Subscribe now and help me hit 2000 subs. Welcome right, so back to the video. So today's gonna be the Bundesliga three tier squad. So we're gonna start off with the low one. I did a Premier League one yesterday, so you can check that out if you want to. We're gonna do Bundesliga today, so I think it'll be a decent league. There's quite a few good, cheap, and good high rated players as well. So, um, yeah, for the low one, starting in goal, we've got Pavlenka. Um, he looks actually really good this year as well. Six foot five, pretty decent in goal. Should be all right. Obviously, no one's using him yet. But then we've got this guy, 73 pace and 80 defending for a cheap centre back. He he should be pretty good. And then alongside him, up at Meccano, which which I think is going to be a great player. 77 pace, 79 defending, 81 physical. Should be really good. I think he was really good at the last uh, start of last year, which you know probably says he's going to be good this year we've got Mukiele a right back this year I think he was centre back last year because I remember him being the, the perfect link to Upper Meccano and then Max in at left back he also looks really good both full backs I don't know how expensive they're going to be because they are they are really good full backs so they might be a bit more than uh, preferable but hopefully not and we'll see when uh, it gets released and we've got Delaney as like a drop back uh, CDM type centre mid there he looks absolutely awesome really really good stats and a pushing forward centre mid slash cam be this Matthias uh, Cunha he looks really really good he'd be, he'd be more of a cam he'd actually play 4-3-3-4 um, I thought he was already on that yeah he'd be a cam there and then he looks awesome and then in with him would be this other cheap he's going to be cheap and I know he, if people would be put off by 6-9 pace but apart from that all his stats are 72 or above, which I think is just incredible. I mean, in at right wing, got Bellarabi, who's going to be an absolute tank. I don't know how expensive he's going to be. Hopefully quite cheap at the start of the game. But 8-4 dribbling, 90 pace, 76 shooting. Should be great. And then Bailey in at left mid. He's always been a cheap little pacey card. And uh, it should be again. Same sort of thing as Bellarabi. Quick, good dribbling. And in at striker for the cheap Bundesliga team is going to be, uh, I think it's Yusuf Paulson. And uh, really good physical and pace, good shooting, not not amazing but good enough. And um, if you're whipping it in, he'll win loads of headers. I'm not sure how tall he is, but I, I know he is pretty tall because I've seen I uh, played with him last year. And um, yeah, that is a pretty good cheap starter team for the Bundesliga. Now let's move on to the medium. Right, the mid tier now. In goals, quite a big high rated player. Probably would have recognised him from last year, Glasky. Looks really, really good again this year. 85 rated. I think that might be the same. I'm not sh not too sure. And then for the middle tier centre back pair, we've gone for Hernandez. He looks incredible. 77 pace, 83 defending. Good dribbling, decent passing. And then Klosterman next to him. Probably seen it. He's going to be expensive, but he'll be worth it. 84 pace with 82 defending for a centre back. It's going to be incredible. So um, yeah, he'll be really, really good. And then at right back, we've gone for Lena. The right backs in the league aren't actually that high rated. And you could probably switch him out. I don't know who's going to be cheap, who's going to be expensive. Obviously, I'm just guessing at this point. But, um, yeah, he looks absolutely brilliant. And then so does the left back. I think the full backs are really good, low rated and pacey ones. Um, Rissalan is one of them, 88 pace with 80 dribbling. He should be awesome. Oh, and I haven't changed formation. I was going to play a 4 4 2 for this one, which would um, give us a nice left mid and right mid in Kostic and in. Thorgan Hazard, who obviously is the brother of Eden, and um, both look incredible again. Hazard will be good for like dribbling. I'm guessing um, he'll be like more of a more of a playmaker where Kostic can run down the wing with his physical and stuff. He should be very very good. And then as a dropping back sort of centre mid, we've got Zakaria. I think I don't know how you say it, if it's Zakaria or whatever. Um, he looks really really good. I'm sure he'll be. Um, like a 20 25k player at the start because those pace defending and physical stats with an anchor they'll all be like 90 so that's just going to be insane as a cdm in the bundesliga from like off nation so hopefully bump his price down and then another another off nation bundesliga player sabitza will be an incredible cam with those stats there all 80s apart from defending physical he'll be he'll be insane and then up front, we've got some surprising ones. I'm not sure how much one of them is going to be, but Rashica. Oh, I can't spell him. There he is. Um, he's going to be uh, 79 rated, 88 pace, 83 dribbling. He'll be the getting behind one. And then we've got the main man of the season. Well, half the season last year, Ilan Haaland. He's going to be, 
I think he'll be incredible this year. With uh, it depends how FIFA plays, to be honest. But if you can use tall strikers this year, he will be up there with one of the best. With those stats, he'll be incredible. His dribbling's not great, but he's going to be quick once you get going. Because I don't think his acceleration's bad. But yeah, he should be pretty insane, and I'm sure he will be. But um, yeah, don't know how much he's going to cost. Same with Zakaria and the two centre backs. They're the like ones that that could cost quite a bit. Why have I got? No way is, yeah, I was going to say Hazard isn't they, um, Hazard's a, a right mid, I don't know if they've got that wrong or if it's, it must have changed, yesterday I built this team ready for the video and he was actually a uh, right mid in, when I, I went through the Bundesliga right wingers, okay, maybe not, maybe he's gone to a left mid now, in that case, we're going to go for Serge Gnabry, I think he'd be cheaper than Sancho. And that's, uh, that's going to be a really, really good team there. Sorry about that, I didn't even know. Alright then, kicking off the big Bundesliga team, and I can't spell. He's going to be Manuel Neuer. He's got to be in there. If you're making a Bundesliga best possible, well not best possible, like just a big Bundesliga team, he's got to be in there. He's, he's going to be incredible, once again, like he is most years. And then Alaba's got himself a centre-back card. With 77 pace, 80 dribbling, 81 physical, 83 defending. He's going to be incredible. He's probably going to be the best, the best centre-back in the Bundesliga. Alongside Hermels, I was going to go um, Sewell, but then I think Hermels last year, his team of season card wasn't quick, but it was just so good. He was just a, like an out-and-out centre-back. He was crazy good. And then right back, I've gone for someone who's lowest rated, but he's he's going to be, yeah, I think he's going to be so expensive with 89 pace and 81 physical. He was great last year with his um, card that he had for Europa League, and he'll be, he'll be brilliant this year. Along with Ben, no, not Ben Davis. That's the other one. That's the Welshman, uh, Alfonso Davis. 96 pace, 82 dribbling on a left back. It's just gonna be insane for running up and down the wing. And um, I've done it again. I keep on forgetting to not change the formation. But this year, go for the sweaty 4-2-3-1 for the for the main team. And then the two CDMs should be a great partnership. Got Kimmich, who's had an outstanding season. Plus 70s on everything. Alongside Goretzka, the former, no, the uh, Bayern player with uh, Kimmich, sorry. When Kimmich can stay back whilst Goretzka can go up and attack, should be incredible partnership there. Middle cam, um, the Dortmund veteran Royce, he's going to be in there. He, he, has, he has lost a bit of pace, I think, but he's shooting, dribbling and passing out of this world, so he'll be he'll be fine. And I've gone on the wrong 4 2 3 one. I'm having a mare, but in left mid... No, no, other than Leroy Sane from Man City to Bayern. A lot of Bayern players, a lot of Dortmund, as you'd expect. But um, rapid, good dribbling, good shooting. He'll be insane on the left. And then you saw the right mids already. Jaden Sancho making it in. I would think, would have thought he'd had more pace. But I already can tell with his dribbling at 91, he's going to be insane down that wing. Because he's just going to like skill out everyone, literally. And then up front. Finish off the team, who else would it be? He's on the thumbnail. It's Lewandowski, he's got to be in there. Ignore his pace, you've got rapid players on the left and right. He can just cross it in with his 82 physical, his good dribbling, good shooting. He's not going to have a problem finishing anything anywhere near the box. So, um, yeah, that is going to be a crazy team. And if you can work towards that within like the first two months or something, you will be, I'm sure you'll be beating opponent, opponents like nothing. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. If you do enjoy, give it a like and chuck down some, some suggestions in the comments of what you want me to do. Uh, could be more cheap teams, could be another league for this, another nation. Yeah, anything down in the comments. But if you enjoyed it, give it a like and subscribe. Peace.